When the mission is critical and the risk is high, U.S. military personnel require vehicles they can count on to move them in and out of harm's way, over any terrain, while protecting them from threats both known and unknown. Of course, it doesn't hurt if those vehicles whether for land, sea or air, are loaded with firepower. The U.S. Army is launching a phase for the concept design of its future optionally manned fighting vehicle, which is intended to replace the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The Army has tried to replace the Bradley at least five times since the early 2000s, spending nearly $20 billion without producing a single working vehicle. After multiple failed attempts, the latest competition to replace the Cold War-era Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle has drawn five contestants. The optionally manned fighting vehicle or OMFV competition includes all of the big names in U.S. land power, plus companies from Germany and South Korea. The M2 Bradley was first used by the U.S. Army in the 1980s. The vehicle not only could carry infantry, but also offered enough protection to allow them to remain mounted during an attack. This preserved the momentum of an armored assault, ensuring that the attack did not slow down and that dismounted infantrymen didn't need to be rounded up and board the vehicle to continue an offensive. German defense contractor Rainmetal, which developed the M256 gun on the M1A2 Abrams tank, is tossing its hat into the OMFV ring with a KF-41 Lynx. The Lynx has a crew of three, and can carry eight soldiers in the back. That's one more than the M2 Bradley. In February, Rainmetal and Allison announced a partnership to equip Lynx with what the two companies call a next-generation electrified transmission. Raytheon will reportedly add its Coyote Airborne drone to the vehicle, giving the KF-41 eyes over the battlefield. The Lynx is armed with a Lance 2.0 turret that includes a 35mm cannon and mission pods capable of carrying anti-tank guided missiles, drones, or loitering munitions. The vehicle is equipped with a modular armor system that weighs between 37 and 55 tons, according to Breaking Defense. The system would allow the Army to deploy Lynxes with less armor to places where local bridges couldn't support the weight of a 55-ton vehicle. Here's a short video of the KF-41 at the recent NATO Brave Warrior exercises in Hungary, literally driving circles around the M2 Bradleys it might soon replace. The KF-41, of which only one is currently in existence, was in Hungary where it had won a competition for 218 new infantry fighting vehicles. The KF-41 is bigger, but it's also more agile, with a horsepower-to-weight ratio of 26 to 1. The Bradley's, by contrast, is about 21 to 1. The KF-41 in U.S. Army service would probably look a little different than the vehicle seen in Hungary, as the U.S. may want the turret to be equipped with two long-range anti-tank missiles, giving OMFB the ability to take on tanks by itself. It may also want an active protection system capable of detecting and shooting down incoming rockets and anti-tank guided missiles. <laughs>